Okay, so I've got the cover off. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five screws in the back. Uh, the two bottom screws are these safety screws. They have the little post in the middle. It's a T20 Torx bit with the little post in the middle. So you need a driver that has a hole cut out for that little post. Um, the rest of them are just Phillips screws. There's also one down here on the side. And then on this microwave, you kind of pull this side out and then lift, kind of tilt the whole thing and then slide it back. Um, now you want to be careful what you touch in here because some of these have a big capacitor in them that stores a lot of energy and it can shock you. Um, to get the control panel out, um, you can see these little slotted clips. They just fit in some grooves. Um, on this one, there is this little sheet metal piece here that was bent over like this just to keep it from sliding up. So you straighten that out, open the door, and then this just lifts up and kind of pulls out. Now, before you pull it out, you may want to disconnect a few wires. Um, these were from a relay down here, and this was from another connector on the board. Um, there's a couple other wires back in here that are connected to the door switch and a ground. Uh, the ribbon cable that controls the LCD is this one here. So I disassembled this. Um, this is a strip of LEDs. Um, it just provides the backlight. You got this little cone filter that directs the light. Um, underneath this, you've got, this is just a diffuser film, I believe. Just got two different colors. This helps diffuse the light coming from the LEDs. And then you've got the LCD panel. So this is just basically two pieces of glass with, well, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on LCD construction, but you can see that you cannot see through this. What happens is for this particular unit, um, I think this is called a transmissive. And so basically it blocks any light where you don't want light getting through. And then when you want numbers to display, um, this controller will energize the segments in here um, to make them transparent. And basically all it is is changing the polarization. Um, if you ever played with polarization film, if you turn it one direction, it blocks all light. If you turn it the other direction, it lets light through. Same concept, just controlled electrically. So the issue I believe is this ribbon cable because if you, I had it plugged in and I'd used a rubber tipped um, pointer and I was applying pressure to this cable and I was able to get more fields lit up. So I think the issue is my connection here. Now, these carbon traces in this ribbon cable, they're just applied with heat and pressure. So when this was manufactured, they have something that presses down on this, applies the correct amount of heat. Um, I've read that it starts to bond at 180 degrees Celsius. So I've got a my soldering iron is this guy here and I can turn it down to 200 degrees Celsius. So that's what I'm going to try just to apply a little bit of heat and get a little better bond. Let's see if I can get some better light. Um, but I'm going to try to not disrupt any of the other circuitry. Um, things can be resoldered, but I'd rather not have to. Um, I'm also going to try to get as much solder off the tip of my iron as possible. Alright, and 
I read that you want to drag along these carbon traces, apply a little pressure and, and just drag along it. If you go sideways, you're gonna tear the cable, melt the cable, whatever. So I'm just gonna do some little light touches here. So there's that, uh, we'll take it back out, see what the display looks like. Okay, so off camera, I went back and I touched up um, the other side of the ribbon cable where it attaches to the glass. Um, I figure while I've got it out, I might as well do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, I've got the backlight bracket and diffuser and everything back in place. I'm gonna hook this back up to power. Uh, the microwave is unplugged. I don't recommend anyone plug in a microwave when the cover is off. Um, I understand the risks, so I'm gonna do it, but I don't recommend anyone else doing it. fixed. LCD is working again um, over time. I believe this microwave was made in 1998. Over time those connections just start to loosen up. Uh, my mom actually had this microwave in her camper and it could just be from it being towed. Um, she keeps it in storage and it's down a gravel, gravel road and you know the jostulations may have loosened this up. Um, on these sharp microwaves, this is also a common issue with these. So if you experience an LCD that is not displaying all the characters or all the segments of the characters, um, it's likely just a, a bad connection between the control board and the LCD itself. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. Um, if you like what I do, Check out some of my other stuff. Uh, if you want to, subscribe. If not, no big deal. And until next time, we'll catch you later.